Hello there. Thank you for joining me, Sean 1113 here. Happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you. Hopefully, you'll have a safe one if you're working, or especially United States men and women, the United States Armed Forces, police, EMTs, hospitals, hotels, restaurants, and the like. Thank you for working and sacrificing. Thank you for working, actually, and try to make our day easier and hoping to make your day easy. Day as good as any anybody. But um, I'm not the best at making speeches like that, but like I said, you you, you know what I mean. Um, this is Sean's 1113 pick. I'm only going to do NFL for the rest of the year, um, except colleges. Um, colleges, I'm going to do when the playoffs come or the bowls come. So that's what I'm going to do from now on for, with this. This is strictly NFL stuff, week 12. Week 11, I was 8 and 6, 57.6% average. And um, let's go with the games. Let's go with the Thanksgiving games. Philadelphia, Detroit, not a whole lot. If you're either team, fan of either team, you you definitely do not have a whole lot of confidence in that. Either of these teams, let me back this a little bit closer. Um, you do not have a whole lot of confidence in either of these teams. Um, especially if you're Philadelphia because of certain situations. But like I said before, um, I'm going to pick Detroit in this game to beat Philadelphia. Carol in Philadelphia in that one. That's probably the game of the day. It's probably Carolina and Dallas. And, Dallas. and I'm actually going to pick Carolina to win that game. I know Tony Roman does make a difference. Some kind of difference if they keep the running game like against Miami. I mean, they have a chance to win that game. Um, but I'm going to pick Carolina. And right now, in my opinion, also, Cam Newton's got to be considered the MVP of this league. I really do. If he keeps going, he will be the MVP. And right now, he would have my vote. Him and Tom Brady would have my votes right now. But I'm going to pick Carolina over Dallas. Um, Chicago and Green Bay after this performance they have, especially on defense. I'm going to pick Green Bay to win that game on Thursday night, Thanksgiving night on that one. So I'm going to pick Green Bay over Chicago. Um, New Orleans over Houston. I'm going to pick Houston. St. Louis and Cincinnati. Cincinnati dropped two in a row, but they will bounce back here over St. Louis. So Cincinnati over St. Louis. Um, Minnesota and Atlanta, probably a 50-50 game there. Um, I'm going to pick Minnesota in that one, though, over Atlanta. Giants and Washington is another 50-50 game, potential 50-50 game, but I'm going to pick the Giants in that one. Tampa Bay and Indianapolis, this is, might be another 50-50 game. I believe, though, Tampa Bay will win that game. The way they're playing right now, the way Winston is playing at quarterback, and the way Martin is getting back to his usual self like a rookie, I mean, I'm going to pick Tampa Bay in that one over Indianapolis. Because if you're an Indianapolis fan, I I don't think you have a whole lot of confidence in um, not Hasselbeck, but it's just the whole team, see how they're, they're going to perform. perform. Um, Buffalo, over, but I'm going to pick, like I said, Tampa Bay over Indianapolis right now. Um Right now, also, Buffalo and Kansas City. I wouldn't sleep on Kansas City yet. You would think that when they lost Jamar Charles, it would it would um, go down. But since then, they've played some good football. Buffalo, good defense, but it's not going to be enough to beat Kansas City at home. Kansas City over Buffalo. Oakland and Tennessee, um, not much to read in this one. I'm going to pick Oakland. They're the better team. To beat Tennessee. That's what's going to happen there. San Diego and Jacksonville, unless you're a diehard, you want to skip this one. Um, but I'm going to pick Jacksonville slightly over that one. Uh, Miami and the New York Jets, I'm going to do something that may not forgive myself, but I'm going to pick the Jets over Miami. Especially a lot of time when they can't wear in London and Jets just beat them. Oof. It, was, it was brutal. But uh, I'm going to pick the Jets over Miami 
But every time I pick against Miami, Miami wins, actually. So, But nevertheless, I'm going to pick the Jets there. Arizona and San Francisco, I'm going to pick Arizona. Pittsburgh and Seattle could be a very interesting game. Um, I'm going to pick Seattle here. Denver and New England. Hate to pick against New England in this spot, but I have to. There's no team in the AFC even close, pretty close to them right now at the point. I'm not picking, so even if it's in Denver, Colorado, unless otherwise, otherwise I'm gonna pick New England over Denver. Monday night, uh, not a whole lot. Well, probably a skippable game, but Baltimore and Cleveland, especially with Flacco out for the season. So Baltimore and Cleveland. If jo- if Johnny Mansell is ever gonna shine. Let's find out how good he really is in prime time on Monday night against Baltimore. I'm going to pick Baltimore over Cleveland. I mean, actually, I'm going to pick Cleveland over Baltimore in that one. In that one, actually. But like I said, if Johnny Football is ever going to show, show in front of the world, if he wants to be an NFL quarterback, and stay a little longer than a backup. Um, this is the game, this is the Monday night game. If he shows up, if he doesn't, I don't know. But um, Cleveland over ba- Cleveland over Baltimore Monday night in that one. And that's it for all my picks. Is there? All, it's going to be 16 games from week 12 on out, and who knows what's going to happen from there. But like I said. Um, have a happy Thanksgiving. Be careful out there. Be as safe as you can possibly can. And when you watch when you watch any any sporting event, enjoy the games.